Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. And Canberra's worst kept secret is out. Nothing in the allegations that have been printed ever happened. They just didn't happen. I'm simply saying to you all that the th I did. It just did not happen. And along with saying not, never, ever, a clearly distraught Attorney General said no one had even put the allegations to him. No journalist has ever put the detail of the allegations to me in a way that would allow seeking a response. But not for lack of trying. With 3 AW's Neil Mitchell, the Herald's Kate McClymont, and Crikey's Chris Woods lining up on Twitter to say they phoned Porter's office, but he didn't return their calls. But Porter says he's talking about contact before the ABC revealed the allegations last Friday. So, end of story? I don't think so. I thought I was watching the press conference there, Kieran, of someone who's not long for politics, to be frank. Porter says he's been the subject of trial by media, or as Nine's Chris Yulman puts it, It's all played out in the media and the vile sewer of social media for clicks and political point scoring. Meanwhile, the heightened debate about politics, power and sexual assault is getting everyone worked up. To take on really? and determine, to take on and determine Absolutely. the standards Listen. he's required yeah, of his exec... Up. Stop interrupting me. All right. You've had five minutes. I agree. I mean, this is absolutely outrageous. Uh, let's, let's, you know, no, no, this no, no, is an uh, example sorry, of the kind of have... lack of leadership no, what we in this country. No, is a zen moment on the television. You have been... Because this This character on the other moment. side... But in this environment, zen is hard to find, especially on a current affair. Blood and honour! Blood and honour! Yes, we were hailing Hitler. And that's why we say white power. On Monday, ACA investigated neo-Nazi Thomas Sewell and his far-right group. King King ACA did not miss in its takedown of Sewell and all he represents. But nor, he says, did they ask him for comment. And after the story went to air, Tracy revealed. There's been a disturbing development in this story. And she was right, because hours earlier, Sewell had turned up in Nine's lobby, demanding to see ACA staff. And it was left to one security guard to escort him out. Whereupon, things turned ugly. Yeah, so now he's acting like dance, monkey, dance. dance. Watch yourself, bro. Right, like Another dance, monkey. Watch yourself. Touch me. <laughs> Next day, ACA did interview Sewell, who told them. It's very obvious that you guys are bullies. Mmm. And in the same interview, but not broadcast by ACA, Sewell complained. You didn't even ask me for my input and you labelled us as terrorists on your show last night. Terrorists? Maybe not. But Sewell has now been charged with assault. And um, staying with the crime desk, let's go to Channel 7. Unmasking. Sydney's grubbiest petty thief. Stealing anything right in front of passing pedestrians. Yeah, Seven News was hard at work chasing petty criminals in Sydney's CBD. Take a good look at this man, the most brazen petty thief in the city. And he sure was brazen. Out comes an angle grinder and, with a flash of sparks, the deed is done. What a nerve! So, why all the focus on the bicycle bandit? Well, here's the clue. We understand the bike which belonged to a staff member here at Seven was the latest scalp in a CBD crime spree. Aha! As the Australian revealed, the $5,000 bike belonged to Seven's head of investigations and my old mate, Mark Llewellyn. Which is why... Catching him, catching him, catching him... ...is Seven's main aim. Good luck with that. But now to the latest puppy hero. Ulf, the super sleuth, detector dog, who's been crowned the top dog of 2020. Yes, Ulf, the yellow lab, has been praised for his work protecting our borders from biosecurity risks. And it seems the fearless floof doesn't like the media either. Of course, a fantastic award like this, everyone wants to hear from the recipient. So, Ulf, what do you think, mate? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. And Ulf wasn't done stalking his prey and then going in for the kill. Uh, <laughs> Ulf, no. And that's what we're called Media Bites. <laughs> and we'll be back with Media Watch Night for on the ABC Monday night. Also, I view social media and don't miss it. If you or someone you know is affected by any of the issues raised in this program, please contact the following services. Lifeline 13 11 14 1800 Respect 1800 737 732